Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today an Achentaschen. Hooray! I am, after all, the Toshen Man. And this is an Achentaschen by The Malt Man. The Malt Man is a company that is run by Donald Hart and his son Andrew Hart. Now the name Donald Hart might ring a bell because Donald, in, in, in a previous life, so to speak, had a company called Hart Brothers. Donald Hart, together with his brother Ian Hart, they bottled single malts under Hart Brothers. Now they sold off that company in 2007 and the new owners, they kept the name of the brand Hart Brothers. So you will still find single cask bottlings under Hart Brothers. But when Donald sold off his company and Ian, uh, Donald together with his son Andrew started a new company, the Meadowside Blending Company. And in that company they, they bottled single casks of single malt under this new label, the Malt Man. Now in recent years they also added a new range of single grains under the Grain Man indeed. But this is the uh, the Malt Man and this is an Ochentoschen from 1996. Um, an Ochentoschen that is bottled by the Malt Man. I tried this a couple of years ago during a whiskey dinner in the Helander, which is a famous Scottish restaurant in Alkmaar in Holland and, and with the indomitable William McMormand behind the stove. But I was so enchanted with this whiskey when I tried it there that the day after I ran to the distillery shop to the liquor store and picked me up one of these bottles. Unfortunately there was only one at a time so I was unable to open it because obviously I wanted to put this in the Toshin Man collection. This Ochen Toshin is a, a single cask. It is cask number 5034. There's only 364 bottles of this. It is cut down to the uh, drinking strength of 46% ABV. But what's so special about this is it was distilled in 1996. It was bottled in May 2016, making it to 19 years old. But it got a finish on a Montiado Sherry. Now, like I said, I was a bit enchanted and I wanted this bottle and I was able to secure it for the collection. Now, fast forward to 2019 and my buddy Manny, he's in a liquor store somewhere else. He sees the bottle on the shelf and he says, hey, Mark, he texts me, sends me the picture. Do you want me to pick this up for you? And I'm like, do bears shit in the woods? Excuse my French. Of course. Yes, please bring it, bring it, bring it. And he did. And so now I am finally able to retry it. This Ochentaschen, 19 years old, from 1996, like I said, at 46% ABV, with an Amontillado Sherry finish. The color is, and that's the Sherry cask, of course, is a uh, coppery, dark gold to coppery. Let's give this one a go, and let's see if I like it as much as I did back then, on the nose. Well, it's very sweet on raspberries, some blackberries. There's lots of marzipan and hazelnuts in there. I get some espresso and some overripe pears, you know, the ones that the juicy pears, if you bite in them, the juice will drip down your chin. That's what I'm getting here. And it's a touch spicy. But overall, this is your typical delicate triple distilled Ochentaschen with a beautiful sherry finish, at least uh, on the nose. Right, on the ballot then. Mm. It's honey sweet, but now it's quite piquant. It's, it's, oh, it's a bit too spicy, actually. I get, it's a bit sharp. I get some cloves and, and some pepper, a bit of cinnamon. But the sense here is that there's, there's something wonderfully fruity waiting on the horizon, but the malt just... The malt just doesn't get there, you know, it's just, it's like waiting on Godot, it's, 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 it's reaching out for it, but nah, it's just not getting there. It's quite powerful too, for, for only 46% ABV. To me, that maybe the alcohol is not perfectly integrated. Nevertheless, don't get me wrong, this is fruity and the fruit does come out, but it's just a tad too sharp first mm, on the finish then. medium long but again pretty spicy and it's a bit drying with some some milk chocolate and raspberries at the death wow it's don't get me wrong it's a good Ochentoschen like I said but it just does not, does not seem to reach its its full potential and maybe that's because it 
maybe it slept a bit too long on the uh, Amontillado cask, I don't know, could be. But again, a very good Ocantoshan, and just shy of being a brilliant Ocantoshan. But hey, I'm not complaining, like I said, the Toshan man is very happy that he's got a new bottle of this to try. Oh, here comes the plains, it's a summery, an Indian summer day here. And in fact, that is quite the pleasant uh, climate to try this soft uh, Ochentoshen in, although with a sharpy edge. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.